Welcome to Daddy Jack's Cook with the Blues here. So, you know, I started trying to buy, you know, berries to garnish desserts and things like that with in the winter and the off seasons and it just, you know, just ridiculous the price. So I came up with this. It's like, you see sometimes a claret, claret, claret sauce or I don't know what they do with, you know, for desserts. So I came up with my own here. So uh, I got some mixed berries, frozen. Just get. This is a nice blend I get. Raspberries, blueberries, strawberries. You know, it's nice. Easy, Bob. Okay. It's so a real simple. So I got the berries in there. So I just, you know, I don't really measure. I just want it, I know I want it sweet. So you got like five, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, tablespoons. Then I get, you know, some cheap wine, whatever. This is our house wine, Stone Cellars. I like it. Merlot, whatever red wine. Just kind of bring it up like a half a bottle. All right. And then. I'm just gonna put it on a back burner and cook it. You make like a it makes like a simple syrup and it cooks cooks the berries and then you know as soon as it boils up and simmers for a little bit, I'm gonna puree it and I'll show you just a nice nice berry sauce you know for desserts for uh, over cake you know if you like a little palm cake and dessert. We'll be right back. Look at this, Bob. Woo! Got a little away from us a little bit, man. It'll over kind of flooded over a little bit, but here we go. So, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to blend it. Hey, Bob. Be real careful. It's super hot. And it's got a lot of sugar in it. So, if you got you got some on you, you wouldn't be able to rub it off easy. It would burn. Kind of almost like candy, like making candy. Look how nice and thick it is. Tommy, you grab this. Look how thick it is, Bob. Look how thick it is, Tommy. Like your sugar, sugar water, <coughs> or sugar wine, no water, and the frozen berries. So look at this, Bob. See, instead of using fresh berries in the winter, look at that nice sauce. You ever seen that thing, the claret, claret sauce? They use it on uh, like spumoni. Ah. Check it out, man. Cool, it's gonna be hot. Check it out. It's gonna be hot, so be careful. Huh? Oh. What? Red, not out of vanilla ice cream. Oh my God. It. Boom, right? Yeah. I hate the senses, huh? You can adjust the sugar if you want it sweeter, a little, little more sour, whatever you want. But that's a claret, claret sauce. So I was telling him, I, I said that in the winter you buy the, you know, summer, seasonal strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, everything's local, fresh, right? But now they're so expensive, they got no have no taste. So these, I buy the bag, big bag of frozen berries. We put that in there, we we'll chill it down, put it in a squirt bottle. Use it on uh, most of our desserts. Cost effective and adds a nice flavor to our desserts. All right, Daddy Jack's cool with the blues here, Bob. Bob Scorchese. Bob, like Bob Scorsese, it's Bobby Scorchese, but Bob, Bob Jacko on, on camera, doing all. If it wasn't for Bob, I wouldn't have one recipe. I'd, I'd be like, you know, twiddling, twiddling my thumbs here. Bob and I met at Charter Cable. We did an internship. He, he was a class before me. They showed us how to uh, make our own videos, make our own. Uh, I, I produced my own show, Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues, for about three years. 
Bob, Bob <laughs> learned how to do the camera editing, but then he's got the component of computers and internet, and, and now that's he's worked that into a job that he's that he does. And but uh, we've been doing this, and and uh, <clears throat> that's one thing. If you ever want to make your own videos, go to your local cable company. The government forces them to get make an uh, internship. You can learn how to produce your own show. The sky's the limit. You can be the next big director in Hollywood. You don't need to go to school. Just go to your local cable company. <clears throat> you can have your own show on cable access TV. But uh, but anyway, hey, we're, we're, if it wasn't for Bob, we wouldn't be able to share the knowledge that we have. And, you know, it's a blessing. We get so much great response. This is Daddy Jackson, 181 Bank Street, beautiful downtown in London, Connecticut. Got some bad weather coming in. We hadn't had any snow this year. All of a sudden, this got a few flurries yesterday. It was 60 over at Christmas. What's going on? El Nina? Well, we'll take it. We don't have to do much shoveling this year. Knock on some wood. Peace.